Confusing as it is, people understand the types and functions in their own way, often based on their own type. This video series is about the things that I associate with the function axes. These will range from technical details to abstract thoughts. As always, different content creators will explain these things in different ways, so listen to everyone and find out which person conveys it in the way that works for you. I use that word works very specifically. Ultimately, these ideas should result in you dealing with and having better relationships with people. That is the best barometer of whether your understanding of the types and functions is correct. The truth and filters. FE wants to draw attention to the positive and pleasing truths. TI, instead, favours truth in and of itself. You can think of FE as being the filter, choosing which truths to say and which to leave out, based on the situation at hand. The famous book, How to Win Friends and Influence People, is like an FE manual for people who aren't naturally good at it. It's all about emphasising the positive. It could be pointing out a person's better attributes, or focusing on the good that someone can gain. The book is not called How to Always Be Right and Show Other People When They Are Wrong, although I'm sure that would be a good book to be fair. One caveat I'll add here is that truth is not something that's easily known, but it's the word I'm using. You could also use the word honesty instead. ENFJ and ESFJ. Types with extroverted feeling as their dominant function, then, have strong filters. FE is the curator of the words they say. It is fair to describe them as imbalanced between FE and TI. Their strength is an ability to craft their speech. They are artists of the social realm. If you were to think about this in terms of a career, they'd be great at marketing, messaging, and branding. They are very filtered at first, and for a long time even when they're being pushed. But if pushed too far, the truth bomb brutality will be unleashed. ENTP and ESTP. Types with TI, then FE, in that order, in the middle of their stack, display a roguish charm. They are sharp and pointed in what they say, but have enough allegiance to filtering their words when needed. Because of this balance, their social style has a duality to it. They might follow an abrupt rebuttal where they disarm in compliment. That push and pull works well for them. They are unfiltered at first, then bring in those corrective filters quite quickly when they've overstepped. INFJ and ISFJ. Types with FE then TI in that order, in the middle of their stack, have a gentle disposition. They are facilitating in their approach, yet their ability to interact with people well is bolstered by the solidity they feel with their own views, thinking, and logic. Unlike the ENTP and ESTP, who will be much more freewheeling and reckless with their opinions, then rein things back in when needed, INFJs and ISFJs are the inverse of this. They are socially reined in, cautious, and even delicate. But they have a strong sense of the right moment to strike. They will accommodate someone until they feel like that person has said something egregious. Then, they'll address that disagreement directly. They are filtered first, but then remove those filters quickly when they feel it necessary. INTP and ISTP. Types with TI as their dominant function are largely unfiltered when there are moments of honesty being asked for or required. That second part is quite important. If you know an INTP or ISTP, you probably won't consider them to be relentlessly rude. It will be more the case that, when they're asked for an opinion, they'll simply give it. In that sense, they're very straightforward and direct. There is an important detail to bear in mind here. It is difficult to be an asshole. As social creatures, there are many punishments for being that way. For this reason, types who would be naturally unfiltered often opt for just being, well, quiet, or keeping their views private. However, as I say, when asked, and certainly when pushed or annoyed by someone, you're going to get it full force. So, with that caveat I mentioned, they are unfiltered first, then rectify things later. They sort of hit you with that honesty hammer, then later, if they're feeling guilty about it, turn up with a social first aid kit. Collectivist versus individualist. High FE users seek to create bonds of shared feeling, specifically good feelings. That emotional resonance is important to them. If they can bring about situations in which everyone involved is feeling good, they like it. They want to be the catalyst for connection between people. High TI users seek personal understanding of something, an idea or situation, let's say. When they are confident in their own comprehension, things are good. It's a very individual thing. TI wants to make sense of the world. It will be relentless in that aim, more than willing to refine over and over to get a greater grasp. FE is objective. Yes, an objective feeling function. FE is about understanding another perspective without including yourself. It is scanning for and assessing external data. Of course, you can misinterpret social cues and body language, but the aspiration is for it to be an objective view of what's happening. Although it is equated with empathy, FE can often be closer to cognitive empathy, in my view. TI is subjective. 
which seems like a strange word to use, given that logic, as I've mentioned previously, ought to be universal. If something works logically, it should work for everyone who uses it. You can think of it like a self-taught musician. They might see a chord, and know that if you move the bottom note down, successively, a semitone, then you get a cool sound, and that this works for certain types of chords. They might have an entire library of these little formulas and ideas that all connect with each other into a framework that allows them to make music. But two different TI users will have different frameworks. Both work, but both differ. They aren't starting with an external and standardized system, as a TE user might. TE users also tend to be the people who make those systems. However, TI also has a universalizing quality. In theory, an individual's logic and reasoning for how to understand something or solve something, if it works, should be transferable. It should work for anyone. So although it starts off as individualistic, it is eventually going to interact with other people, be that directly in debate, argument, and conversation, or indirectly by sourcing conflicting opinions. So this circle becomes squared when you think of these functions in an axis. To keep it simple, you could say that FE wants people to feel a certain way, and TI wants people to think a certain way. A difference is that one of them tries to change and adapt to the external much more than the other. It's not surprising to me, then, that types who have this axis often try to do the following. TI-FE tries to change the way that people feel about their own views, opinions, and logic. FE-TI tries to change the way that people think about their emotional state and feelings. In some sense, This function axis sees people as cut from the same cloth. By that I mean the belief that people can get on the same page, and it's just a case of figuring out the best way to make that happen. 